I'm a geneticist myself, so I have all the paranoid traits of a geneticist that I would like to control as much as possible, knowing it's not possible, and I would like to know as much as possible, knowing I cannot know everything. Therefore, I need an assistant, but then I have to be able to trust the assistant as well and double check the assistant. That is the basic complication of my life as a genome counselor. And when I work with a patient or I work with a physician, that is my standpoint. I can get the genes or a genome tested, then I can see the variants. I can check what those variants do, what predispositions they lead the patient or the customer to. But upon conveying this information, to the patient or the clinician, I cannot control anything anymore. And that is really stressing because the patient walks out of the clinic and it is free in the outer world. I don't know what he or she is doing. I don't know what he or she is eating. I don't know which environment this person is being exposed to. Then everything I tell about a gene variant in a certain way is static. I have to dynamize it. What if there was a possibility to join all this information in a way that makes sense and then that becomes like a personal coach for me that advises me on my genetics as the foundation of this advice. So that depends on everything that I'm exposed to, every decision I make, every thing I go through. And this brings a new term that is very much combined to the genome. And it's not the phenome, it's not the external, but it's the behavior. How do I behave? What choices do I take? And how this affects my personal way of managing my health and well-being. This tool that we're talking about here today is an interface for this. And we were discussing it a lot <laughs> yesterday and today because we didn't know really the structure of the audience. So this tool is for whom? And we stratified it saying to three major groups. A, this tool is for the end user. The other group is uh, the enterprises, the genetic testing laboratories that are all of us have become kind of researchers now, and we have to. We're talking about data-driven science and data-driven medicine. You have to.